everybody, today I'm going to be filming my May favourites. Um, first things first, I have to say that I'm sorry I am ill, I've got a bad cold. So if this is jumpy or I sound stuffy, it's probably because I'm editing it out. My sniffs or coughs or sneezes. And I'm sorry if I sound all stuffy or look a bit, mm, because I just feel a bit, mm. So first of all, I'll start with my book favourites. And my first book favourite has been the illustrated copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, anyone who knows me will know that I'm the biggest fan of Harry Potter and this book, it's just stunning. You can see all the illustrations in it are absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just such a beautiful book to read and look through and I've only got about halfway through actually reading it but I've been flicking through looking at all the pictures because I just think they're all so, so beautiful. My second book favourite this month has been um, an autobiography. Is that when you write it yourself? Hang on, let me look it up. Yeah, so it's an autobiography um, written by Portia de Rossi, who's married to Ellen DeGeneres, and her book's called Unbearable Lightness. Now, I don't have a physical copy of this because I read it on my laptop on iBooks, and it was a gripping book, a really, really, a really heart-wrenching story about her eating disorder and how it influenced her life during the time she was kind of rising to fame on Ally McBeal and also her struggles with her sexuality and I just thought as a psychology student it was a very, very interesting book to read and as someone who probably wouldn't study psychology I think you should also read it because it's just a fantastic, fantastic book. My next favourite is baths. I have been loving, loving, loving baths. As it's exam season, as I'm stressed, baths. Just have a bath. Run some hot water, get in it. Have a bath. Really good for stress. Really, really good. Anyway, so, to go along with baths, I've been really enjoying this lush, refresher shower jelly. Now, this is weird. I'm gonna give you that. This is... Woo! <laughs> dropped it. This is properly weird, right? It's like an actual piece of jelly, but it's soap. It's soap. It smells of like lemon and like refreshes, you know the chewy sweets that are refreshes? It smells like that and it's got gold glitter in it and it's just, it's really fun because it's really cold and when you're in a hot bath, rubbing that on you, not in a seductive way, is um, Really refreshing. Kind of following on the trend of beauty stuff, my next favourite is this foundation. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and I've been really enjoying this. So a couple of months ago I went cruelty free with all my products and I'm still using a lot of my old products up that aren't cruelty free. For example a lot of my matte lipsticks, I'm still going to use them but I just won't repurchase them. But I ran out of my foundation and so I was looking for a new one. and. Bourjois, they don't test on animals, and this is a lovely sort of lightweight foundation, good for summer, because um, it's a kind of medium coverage, but it still gives quite a flawless finish. Right, moving on to food favourites. Biscuits. Biscuits. I've got a biscuit problem. Specifically, caramel digestives. These are actually my favourite. I love them so much. Now... A few weeks ago I went into a lesson and I just, we were talking about biscuits and I go, oh, I've got a digestive problem and everyone looks at me like, what is she talking about? That's a bit too much information and then I realised, no, I mean chocolate digestives is in the biscuit and it was, it was awkward. Um, yeah, so anyway, these biscuits have basically just a plain digestive biscuit with then a layer of caramel and then a layer of milk chocolate. And they're just, oh, I literally could eat them all day. Actually, no, I do eat them all day. I love them so much. Okay, so my drink favourite, well, there's two, but my first one has been peppermint tea. Now, I've got a caffeine problem, and every few months I'll go on a kind of caffeine kick where I'll be like, no more caffeine, I will drink decaf coffee and decaf tea, and then I'll drink more peppermint tea, and... Recently I've been really enjoying peppermint tea, even though I've still got a proper caffeine problem. In, um, this Twinings one has no caffeine in it, it's just nice, really refreshing, again, good for de-stressing during exam season. My other drink favourite 
is a coffee and it's a Cafe Nero Caramel Latte. I've been getting these three times a week maybe, um, yeah, it's a problem, but they have them in the town near my school so I just drive into Nero, get a um, speciality caramel latte without the whipped cream, skinny, and I would, that would just perk my day up and it make me a lot more happy to be at school. So my last favourite is actually my Mac. Now I have the um, MacBook Pro and I received it for my birthday um, last month. So I've been using it every single day for the last month and I've been loving it. Honestly, it's the best present I could have wished for. I just love it so much. Okay, that's it for my favourites video today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your main favourites were down in the comments. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye guys!